Hi, I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com and today I want to show you how to install a power outlet outside. The materials you're going to need are an outdoor weatherproof box, an in-use cover, a GFCI receptacle, about two feet of outdoor rated Romex wire, and some compound that, uh, that a ceiling compound or caulking. Uh, the material, uh, the tools that you're going to need are, I like to use a battery operated drill motor, a long drill bit, I'm going to need a pair of side cutters, a pair of wire strippers, a utility knife, and a screwdriver that uh, has different sizes, uh, Phillips and straight slot screwdriver. Let's get started. Pull off this cover, see what we have here. We have a couple wires in there. Pull them out. Always make sure after you turn the circuit breaker off that we check for power with our voltage tester. Again, we go from bare to each wire. And we go from the white to the other wire. Once you assure yourself there's no power, we can move the wires out of the way so that you don't drill them with your drill. We use a long drill fit to screw through the exterior of the house. Next step is take your outdoor rated Romex wire, fish it through your hole about a foot or so out there. You can also strip this wire out. Sometimes it's easiest just to peel it back like that. A white wire. Again. Peel it back, and a black wire. A little bit difficult using this wire. Cut it off close without damaging any of the wires. And we're set to go outside and install the outside outlet and box. Okay, the second step to installing an outdoor power outlet is your weatherproof box. As you see, it has threaded fit, uh, holes in it and it comes with a package for with miscellaneous things in there that we that we use to cover the holes that we don't use. It's a threaded knockout seal as they call it. Put this in so that no rain water will get inside there and cause problems with your electricity. Put them in both sides. The other couple things that we have here are mounting brackets and a green ground screw. The mounting brackets will go on the box so that you don't pierce the box with any type of screws when you mount it causing rainwater or bugs or anything to get in inside it so let me install these brackets I like to use this six-in-one screwdriver because some of these are straight slots, some of them are Phillips head. And it screws in there pretty tight. So make sure that it's hold that it holds. I like to go to the opposite corner so that you have support on both sides. Again. straight slot 
into the appropriate holes. Next thing we do is install the green ground screw into the box. There's always a hole for the ground screw. In all electrical boxes, they should be grounded with this green screw if it's metallic. If it's a plastic box, it's not really required to have a green screw because plastic does not conduct electricity. This is a Romex connector, as we call it, with a lock nut for holding it in, but since this is threaded, we don't need it. You just go ahead and screw this in here. Loosen the screws to make room for the wire to fit in it. Now we install the wire in the connector. Tighten the connector. This not only holds the wire in, but it also seals the box so no critters or rain can get inside it. Next thing we use before we put the box on is a compound we call duct seal. Similar to caulking where you can form it. It's a sealant to make sure that no water gets in there. We wrap it around and press it back in to allow the box to go in. At this point we can support the box. Make it a nice tight fit. Next thing we do, take the utility knife, score the wire down the middle of it. Be careful. And again, because it's an outdoor wire, it's very difficult to strip. The easy way is to pull the green ground wire or the bare ground wire first, and then try to separate the coating from the black and the white, the outer covering. As you can see, we peel it back, but not so much that it goes back into the wall. The sheathing of the wire should stick into the box about an eighth or a quarter of an inch. And notice how I use it as a bridge, as a guide not to cut or score any of the other wires. First thing you want to do is always connect the bare wire to the green wire, green screw. Nice and tight. Lay it in the back, on the bottom. Next, I like to cut everything even. Take your strippers. There is a strip guide that tells you how long to strip the wire. You can hold it up, mark it with your thumb, and strip it to that length. Again, the strippers are designed only to cut the outer coat coating of the wire. Make a nice little loop in this so it'll go around your screw. Tighten it up. Most important wire of electrical system is the ground wire. This GFCI outlet has a little ridge in it where the outlet where the ground wire lays. You can see the different colors between the screws. This is a darker brass screw. This is a whiter screw. Normally the white screw is for the neutral or the white conductor. It is even stamped on the outlet white, black. So you don't have to wrap this particular one around the screw because it has a guide, a screw hole with a square washer type that compresses it as you tighten the screw. As you tighten it you can feel everything get snug 
up. You can pull on it just to make sure. This particular one hasn't been unscrewed. If you unscrew it, it will allow the wire to go in there. Make sure it's in. Hold it in if you have to. And tighten it down. Again, you could feel it being snug. Tug on it to make sure it's a good connection. Again, the wires are probably six to eight inches long. This allows easier workmanship with the wire. You can get it in the box, fold them however you have to, to get it in the box and make it nice and tight fit. Mounting screws for the outlet. Next comes the in-use cover. This particular GFCI outlet is a tamper resistant outlet. If you can see, it has little shutters inside here that doesn't let anyone push in. You can't push anything in further and it allow, doesn't allow you to make a connection. It's mostly what we like to call tamper resistant or child proof outlet. If child comes and pushes it, pushes something in here, they won't get electrocuted because there's a shutter in there that doesn't allow it to touch anything metal that is energized. Next step is our cover. This particular cover is an in-use cover. It is designed to plug something in while you use it. As you see, it comes with some screws, flip top. And multiple covers depending on your application. This is for the switch. Weatherproof gasket has to go on there. This is for the outlet, if it's a standard outlet. And this is for the GFC outlet, the one that we're using. As you can see, it fits on there nice and neat. Good seal around it. Make sure that the hinge is up so when the rain comes down, it doesn't interfere or get in there. These are pre-cut holes in this gasket. A lot of times, you can just take them and roll them right out. Or in this particular case, it's a a cross marked in there to allow the screws, whichever screws you're gonna to use, to go in there. I like to pull the, the plate away and use it as a guide and don't tighten it up all the way. Put it in the pre-cut hole of the gasket. This way, you know the gasket is in the right spot and it won't allow any water to go through there. Same thing, I don't like to tighten it all the way because the guide, we can use the plate as a guide for the other holes. The cover has a little flip top as you see and a little locking tab just to make it extra secure and sealed so that no water gets in there. Tighten all four of them down. May have to adjust it to make sure that the receptacle is flush with the cover and not pushed back there. Again, electricity our main goal is to make sure that everything is sealed inside the box so that no rain, water, or bugs get inside of it. Depending on what you're going to plug in, this cover comes with preformed knockouts. 
with your needle nose pliers them right out. Now you can plug in your device and that finishes the installation of an outdoor outlet. I'm Nick Mara with CJS Electric 7.com and that is how you install a power outlet outside. If you have any doubts, please contact a local professional in your area. Thank you.